And it to our great sponsors, William Hill. £200,000 to the winner. We'll have a new name on the trophy, new owners, new trainers. Is this a changing of the guard after the dominance of Lister and Sava? 2014 William Hill Greyhound Derby is about to be set in motion as the hair comes round. Off they go and two breaks fast. Salad Dodger. Here comes one Croker's champ on the inside. Handy four mind the net. They go round the bend. Trouble for mind the net. He's last. Croker's champ leads. Two Salad Dodger in second. Three Droopy's War trying to close up on the inside. Third bend approaches. Croker's champ. Droopy's Ward's finding a way through. Coming a challenge. Salad Dodger and Croker's Champ. They can kick Greg Rory towards the line they go. It's Salad Dodger. Ah, oh, Salad Dodger. A huge upset. Big three. Droopy's Ward and one Croker's Champ. Bruno Berwick and Ron Mills at 16 to 1 has rewritten the history books with a fantastic run from. Salad Dodger, who will definitely be eating steak for the rest of his life. What a great run. I can't believe what I've just seen. Salad Dodger has won the William Hill Greyhound Derby. In the race, a lot to take in. Let's reflect. Salad Dodger got an unbelievable break, quicker than Croker's champ and Droopy's ward. Mind the net was handy. King Craig Rory slowly away. Six follow Trent handy up on the inside. Croker's champ, the early speed took him to the front. That's what we expected. Mind the net in the wars at the first bend. The favourite is now last. When they went down the far side, you can see that Croker's champ with a two length lead. Both Salad Dodger and Droopy's Ward, who both ran down Croker's champ, of course in the semi-finals, or the, the, certainly Droopy's Ward did, but when they come round that third bend, I thought, advantage to Droopy's Ward. He's now in the driving seat, he's inside Salad Dodger, he's right behind Croker's champ, King Craig Rory, a length off those. When they come round the final bend, Croker's champ has run his heart out. Droopy's Ward coming on the inside, but Salad Dodger on the outside pips them all to win by a neck from Troopy's Ward ahead of what it was beyond him I'm afraid after the first bend what happened he was just bumped out of it but the winner Salad Dodger an amazing performance I mean I've got to admit six months ago many people hadn't heard of Bruno Berwick and here he is on the rostrum of the derby let's go to Daryl who's got connections with it Bruno looks so cool there Daryl all yours this, this is just the most amazing story ever isn't it you can see kisses going on here Lisa Bruno's partner alongside we've got to get to Bruno though haven't we because this is the most Bruno, this is the most amazing Derby story that we're probably ever going to ever going to see, ever going to witness. Unbelievable! A five dog at Romford in February, uh, grey on Derby winner. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I had faith in the dog. A, a few people said, you know, not without a chance, and everybody, I think, just kept dismissing him. But. Oh, it's, it's a dream come true. Well, you've got to take in absolutely every second of yeah. this because this is this is just incredible. Yeah, it's, unbel it's unbelievable. You know, uh, it just goes to show, you know what I mean, you know what a small man can do with a dog. Like I say, I, I learned from the best, Patrick Jensen, and, uh, you know, it's stood me in good stead. It is incredible. You, you, you've won the Derby Trophy. You, you, you've won yourself and Ron. 200,000 pounds, it's yeah. unbelievable. Plus, plus about 50,000 in bets. <laughs> so, oh, it's, it's changed my life. When, when you watched the race, when did you think we might just do this? When he, when he hit the box, I thought Croker's champs would catch him. When Croker's champ went in front, I knew he'd catch him. That's, that's the only dog I wanted in front of me. And you never saw any threats? You're probably all focused on your fella, but... You, you... When, when Droopy's Ward come up the inside, this dog just, just went again, <laughs> you know. Just went again. It's, well, you know, like, it's not even two-year-old. What a heart. I said he's got a heart of a lion. You know, he's proved it tonight, you know. Uh, and surely there must be better to come. He's only started racing. You know, he is, star, he is very likely. And for all those trainers up and down the country who are sat there thinking... This is for them. This is for them, and uh, I've had... The amount of uh, good luck messages I've had from the small trainers is unbelievable. Do you know what? It's, I put on ground scene last night. It's, it's lovely, you know, to, that there's so many nice people in this sport. You know, it's... Uh, it's a, anyway, yeah, just in. There are a lot of nice people in the sport, but yeah, I think we all love you now, Bruno. Yeah, well, well done, absolutely yeah, brilliant. Let's, let's get some, uh, some uh, reaction from Julie, I think. 
Well, in every interview we've read and heard from Bruno, he's always credited Patrick Janssens with teaching him so much about training greyhounds. What on earth did you tell him, Patrick? No, just do the normal thing. It's all down to Bruno, you know. He came to me uh, to the fan at Coventry when I was standing there and he was asking me things, and I just tried to push him in the right direction. He's, he's young like me, who wants to learn in the greyhounds and everything, just push him the right way. And he, he was willing to listen, and I put him in contact with John Mills, who is... In my opinion, the best in the game, you know, he, the success of Linda Jones, Mark Wallace, you know, and and with this dog now, you know, it's absolutely well deserved, and he put so much effort and time into this dog, and I'm so happy for the man. I really it's, it's been an amazing derby with shocks right to the end. How much have you enjoyed it? I really enjoyed it. I, really, I thought Holden Spy was probably the fastest dog in the derby. Very unlucky not to qualify, but then at the end of the day, you know, there's the greyhound racing, you know, and and. Bruno's dog had to do with the hard way tonight, especially at the third bend when Drew Swart came there as well. But he kept plodding away and he kept going and he got he got up on the line, you know, and I'm so pleased for Bruno, Ron and everybody connected to the dog. And yourself, Patrick, congratulations. Go and join the celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm with Lisa now, who's Bruno's partner. Oh, goodness me, what 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 is what does this mean? Amazing. I'm just so I'm so happy. Bruno's worked so hard. He really has. I'm just so happy that his hard work's finally paying off. To be honest. Because the, the hours have to go in. It's you don't oh. get given these sort of Even races. He's only got few dogs. He puts in so much hours to them dogs, and he really does love them and takes so much care of them. And I'm just so just so happy. And you've got a couple of young children, haven't you? Lola yeah. and Bella. Not yeah. not here tonight, no, but no, they're with my mum. They're a bit too young this would have been a bit too late you can tell them when they get a bit older lisa but it's 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 a fantastic story it is. i'm just so happy words can't describe well, you've got to get amongst them there and be yeah. a part of that trophy well thank done you. well done thank you